the history of the fighting game community, there is no player more talented than Echo Fox's Tokido, who you see here walking up. He has had more EVO top eights probably than any other player in the history of EVO. And he has been coming to EVO since before it was even called EVO, I believe. At least I know he was here at the first one, which was EVO 2002, because he won Capcom versus SNK2 over there. Exactly. And he's, as you mentioned, so good at so many games, right? Not yes. even just in the Street Fighter franchise. Like, he was good at the Marvel vs. Capcom games, right? He knew how to play them. Uh, he could play Tekken at one point. Mm -hmm. He was making top Soul eight. Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. I mean, just any game that he is interested in that he wants to spend the time on, he's talented enough to win in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and not everybody can say that. You know, he is one of the people that you expect to do well here. He has had a second place finish, Evo Street Fighter 4. But since then, you know, in modern Street Fighter games, he has struggled to get the big one here at Evolution. Yeah, especially last year, because remember, we talked about Infiltration only lost one tournament coming up to EVO. That was at CEO. The person who beat him was Tokido. In fact, Tokido was second place to Infiltration like three tournaments right. that year. So everyone was expecting it was going to be Infiltration and Tokido as the favorites. And Tokido drowned before top eights somewhere earlier on in the semis. And so I know he was probably disappointed in himself. Right. And he's looking to make up for that this year. There he is, Filipino champ and EVO champion, not in Street Fighter, but in Marvel versus Capcom, which closed its doors on quite the legacy this year, the final year at EVO. So really happy to see <laughs> Filipino champ making it out here into the top eight. Obviously, so many people excited for him. The third American in this top eight, right? We mentioned there's three Americans, five Japanese players. And you know what? We talked about how Knuckle Dew has a tendency to try to taunt his opponents and such. But look, we are t we are looking at Filipino champ right here. Probably one of the greatest heels that we have in the community. You either love the guy or you're going to hate the guy because he likes to talk and he will let you know how he feels yeah and he prefers it i mean either way is fine with him he doesn't care if you love him or you hate him right Actually, either way I, as long I, as you're talking about him i feel like he almost kind of likes it more during some of those championship runs at uh the, during his championship run at ultimate marvel versus capcom 3 he would like egg on the audience to, to boo him yeah, and, and he was totally fine with taking that abuse. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, he thrives on it. And and he actually, so unfortunately for him, he didn't get to have quite his shining moment when he made it in the top eight. There were some technical difficulties yesterday. But, you know, you know that he would have talked about it. And you know he would have had the pop-off of the century. Of course, yeah. That is sort of his style. I mean, these two have met in tournament before. The last time they played, I mean, it's been very close. But champ... Pretty good at dealing with this matchup, right? Akuma, very unorthodox in his approach uh, methods. He has the demon flip out of the air, as well as the air fireball, and normal air jumps. And Dawson, the character who wants to keep you at bay, who wants to use his long-range limbs to sort of keep you out and keep you in that space, that far away game. It's very tough for him to do that against a character like Akuma with sort of a weird, funky way to get in a lot of times. <laughs> But you know what, Tokido was just recently in Northern California playing against a bunch of top US players, practicing before Evolution. And a lot of those players said that they felt like Tokido was on a level that they hadn't seen him all year long right. with uh, Akuma. Yeah, and if there was ever time to peak, it is now at Evolution, the big one. You really got to be playing well here. And of course, Tokido last year playing Ryu, right? I mean, Akuma mm -hmm. was not yet in the game. Akuma, the character he's known for, legendary moments. Uh, you know, this is the character that is really his legacy and now playing it in Street Fighter V. In this game and in this version of the game in particular, Akuma very strong. Right. But F-Champ is going to do his best. I mean, it's kind of interesting that we've seen three versions of this match again. Right. This style of matchup. But you're going to see it's a, they're all executed very differently. But F-Champ will try his best to keep Tokido out. Akuma right. very dangerous up close. He's got a lot of damage on the ground if he can get you touching buttons and get bunch of key counter hits. Exactly, and here we are, the match. Loser's bracket action. Loser will go home in seventh place here at Evolution. You don't want to claw your way all the way into the top eight and immediately drop out. But one of these two has to, has to drop out at this point in time. Great start from Filipino champ with the standing heavy punch to go right under the fireball from see, Tokido. Exactly, and you see that float from Filipino Champ trying to keep his space, but the air fireball was very difficult for Dawson to deal with. Yeah, and that air fireball causes hit stun for days, and so he was able to confirm off of that, and Tokido should have been able to confirm off of those that double crouching medium punch, but didn't. Yeah, he wasn't prepared. He just didn't seem that it was going to counter. He'll be ready for it, but 
Now Champ floating above that fireball, trying to keep that space, prevent Tokido from landing those fireballs and getting additional chip. Slide under, you know. yeah. Beautiful. Champ is the best at sliding under to just avoid that situation, to not even have to worry about anti airing. But not this time, not gonna work. So Kino's gonna be able to confirm off of that with the back. Heavy punch, and the second part of the uppercut, the V trigger uppercut, is gonna be enough to take that first round. Yeah, V trigger for Akuma, huge, one of the best V triggers in the entire game. Makes Akuma so much more damaging and dangerous. Big jump at the start. Yeah, same way he started last time with the standing heavy punch. It looked like Filipino champ was going to bleed. He was going to go for the fireball again, but Tokido that time with the jump. The fake out there. He he went for that dive. You see that drill from Dalsum. If it hits you by the feet, he's actually very advantageous. He can follow up with pressure. But, you know, Tokido trying to parry it, and that's the little mind game they have going. All right, Tokido gets in there with that demon flip and the punch follow-up. And now he has Filipino champ all the way in the corner using the EX Red Fireball to cook him a little bit. Builds up all that great health. He got him with the Torch Heavy Punch. The big throw bait. Now a lead. Tokido has corner positioning. Ooh. But fighting out his Filipino Punch. champ, no cancel. Should've, yeah, he was expecting it. That's why Tokido didn't even punish it. That should have been a true punish off of that slide. He's not prepared. It's kind of a little mix up in a mind game for him. There's the cancel this time. No anti here, but oh, he gets the jump back, medium punch. Yeah, and it's dangerous because as long as you stay in that fire, you're losing a little bit of oh. health. Oh, he got him! And it's gonna reach! The second half again. Same move, same ending here. To take game at number one and Tokido, known in the FGC as the murder face. He actually gave himself that nickname. But known in this community as the murder face, and you can see it right there, the death stare from Tokido. A single strand out of place <laughs> in that murder face. And Tokido, incredibly, incredibly good chase down. He had a couple of dashes there. knew that f -Champ was going to go for that float that he's been going to so often, right? And it was just a good read from him. We go there, fireball. Yeah, a little bit of a miss from Filipino Champ with that back heavy punch. Yeah. And now a miss air teleport. A couple of kind of nervy drops from Filipino Champ. Oh, couldn't get under the fireball in time with that slide. Now, those slides are all dangerous because they're all very unsafe. It's exactly. hard to make them, it's hard to space them out so that they are safe. Yeah, it's a big issue that uh, Dalsum has. He's got to be very on point with spacing for everything. The limbs, the slides. Yeah, Tokido's going to use the V reversal to get to prevent Dalsum from getting any advantage off of that V-trigger activation. But nice back throw from Filipino Champ. Gets himself out of the corner, and now you see he's got a lot of space behind him, a lot of stage to go backwards and cause Tokido to take little bits of damage oh, here and there. big fireball. I got him the knockdown. He approaches. It's huge now. Tokido can activate if he finds a hit. Clean anti air. Oh, okay, again, you see the bait. You see the bait from Filipino Champ. That drill is spaced at the legs. Advantage. So Tokido's trying to parry it preemptively, but Champ whiffing the drill, baiting the parry, getting the punish. Oh, nice. There was, there was the success on the parry right there. So if Filipino Champ had gone for a whiff drill, he would have been able to bait it out again. Exactly, that fake teleport in place this time, the punish. Ooh, but it landed meaty enough that... Uh, that Tokido is going to be safe. Oh, misses confirm again. Yeah, drop from Tokido. And that's a crucial drop, even though it was just a throw, but it was a back throw into the corner. Look at all this damage he's been taking off of the fire, and he's still cooking on there. Yeah, huge, great damage added up. Very unfortunate. Tokido lost a lot of life. 900 HP on Akuma. It's starting to low. I mean, that's a pretty low vitality. Tied for the lowest in the game. Yeah, he actually started with even lower vitality, vitality from before. And now... A little, bit a little bit of that buff there feels like it was one of the key oh. things that make Akuma a much stronger character right now in the second season. Big chase down. Torpedo looking for that low. Couldn't find it. The air fireball in the approach. Another one. Anything will do it now. The sniper is dangerous. The EX air fireball. Torpedo trying to find his way in and the slide. What? Low profile. You see Champ so happy about it. Standing up, and you know, he is an emotional player. He is an emotional man. You can definitely see exactly how he's feeling at every given moment. And as much of a heel as, you know, we said he is, he is so dedicated. He is very serious. He studies this game. He is such a strong player, a scientist of the game. Exactly, and Dalton Blair is not generally known for that. I, I feel like, you know, usually just play kind of by feel. They react. They play that style, but he really studies the numbers, and that is just the play style. Wow, big back fierce anti-air. But wake-up buttons from Filipino Champ catching Tokido off guard. And 
Here's a nice little addition to Dalsum's arsenal, that crouching down back medium kick. Yeah, brand new move in this version of the game, and obviously you can see Champ utilizing it well, punishes the whiff throw. Oh no, missed. Oh, actually, he went for the whiff jump medium punch into throw. Tokido sniffed it out and was able to punish F Champ instead. Yeah, defensive throw tech worked out for him. You see the demon flip, it's a big issue. Champ got around it once, but you gotta guess what he's gonna do as the follow up. Big stun should be the round, is the round. Tokido cleans it up quick. Again, this is the loser side bracket, so whoever wins three games first. We'll move on, but the other player, they will go home. They will be eliminated out of the tournament. Seventh place, of course. And you see that EX Demon Flip goes for the slide follow-up. It stays very low to the ground. Another bait, Filipino champ. I wonder if Tokido just, you know, he's feeling like even if he does get hit by that, it's not a huge amount of damage. But if he lands the parry, he gets so much momentum off of that, just like this with that EX air with the regular air fireball. Yeah, huge corner carry on this. He's got good positioning for himself as well. Tokido going with the throw OS air yoga gale. It's an option select, a way to avoid multiple advances from the opponent. Going out that fireball, trying to move in Tokido. There's that drill again. We very rarely seen him go in with it, right? Trying to fake out the parry. That time he goes for the punish. Yeah, Tokido sniffed it out that time, but he just wasn't fast enough with the standing medium kick. Tokido with the deficit, very close to building his V trigger though. See in the bottom left, he's got V trigger available. That, oh, and the oh, big low. Oh yeah, so Dalsum can jump back and hit light punch. And that acts as a, since it's a jumping attack, it can hit you if you're crouch blocking. So he faked it by, you saw him go up, down, up, down, and then went for the low instead. Tokido took the bait, stood up, and got caught in the legs. Yeah, the, the jump back normal a little bit, uh, you know, more unsafe, but, you know, it's a round closer. People expect it at the end, and because it's expected, you can go for the second option. Corner positioning already. This is important. Tokido really got to try to maintain this if possible. Okay, gonna use the V reversal to get Tokido out of there. And the fake teleport stays in the corner. Ooh, lands with the jab, Tokido. He's got positioning still, punishes the dash in. He was ready. Oh, but punishes the back roll. That's a little bit of a setup there. Ooh, I feel like that should have been punished, but it doesn't matter anyway. Filipino champ is gonna get the stun and he's gonna take game number three and go up two to one. And you can see trying to hold back some of those emotions. Like I said, a very emotional player, and he's trying right now to channel that emotion so that he doesn't overwhelm himself. And you see the murder face, deep in thought. Tokido trying to figure it out, trying to you know, adjust his game plan on the fly. This is one of those, those kinds of games, right? You really have to see, search inside yourself what you know about the, the matchup, the player, what you're doing wrong. Try to adjust on the fly. So difficult in this kind of environment on a huge stage like Evolution. Yeah, and Tokido kind of on the opposite side. Like last year when he finally got that win over Infiltration, he really credited a lot of calming techniques. He'd been studying a lot of yoga and trying to keep himself calm. Yeah, one of these players trying to keep their emotions in check, the other one letting them you know, flow freely. Corner positioning for Tokido. He spent so much of the set here. Ooh, standing medium punch confirmed into the EX Tatsu. Now this corner pressure now from Tokido. Gets out of there with the slide into V-Trigger. Tokido backs off because he doesn't want him. Oh, he baited him to throw a fireball. Wow. Huge, huge damage. Another mix-up works out. Very close to stun. Oh, nice block from Tokido. He's backing off because he just doesn't want to get stunned. And he sees the Dalsum teleport. He doesn't want to deal with that mix-up. Oh, recovered in time to block that air fireball. Very fortunate. But now you can see this very kinetic pace from Filipino Champ. He is going crazy with these air teleports. He's in big trouble now, though. Oh! And now one round away from eliminating Tokido and moving on in the loser side bracket. Can Tokido come back these two rounds in a row? He would still need to win one game after that. It's gonna be difficult for him for sure. Filipino Champ really finding his element here. What a block, though, from Tokido and an interruption on the dash. A lot of corner carry on that combo, that's why Tokido went for it. Here he gets a knockdown close to stun. What's the mix-up? He goes for the throw, but what a throw tech. But then the cross-up from Tokido does get the stun. Could be enough to kill. It's gonna be. It is. Spent all the resources to do it. Tokido stays alive in this bracket. All right. Tokido needs to take this round to tie it up two to two. 
lot of pressure right now. The nerves that these players must be feeling. Look at Nancy here again. Look for the throw, didn't find it. And really, look at all this yeah. offense and chip that he's adding up. It's, it's just brutal. Oh God, look at all that great health that has been built up on Tokido's side. And anytime you block a medium or heavy normal, it adds great damage. It comes back very slowly. Tokido really having a trouble landing a target right now. Filipino champ, his kinetic style from last round really working right now. He's being such a difficult target to catch. Oh, the B. He buries it! He saw the B reversal coming out, so he got the parry off of it. He's so close to stun. The throw. He's going to get the game off this. Tokido, a massive comeback, a huge swing, and he stays alive. And I'm going to tell you right now, that parry on the V reversal had to have been an option select. He has a certain timing that he can hit the buttons that if that V reversal doesn't come out, he continues his offense the way it does. But if Filipino champ does the V reversal, Tokido is hiding the V skill presses in a bunch of commands that he has, and it comes comes out only if Filipino champ does the V reversal. I mean, in that situation, he activated the V trigger the v off right, the forward right. fear, so yeah, he yeah. had the freeze frame. He didn't even need the options like that. He could just see it I think right the, in front of his face. I think the V face. trigger was the option select, actually. Yeah, in a, I, in a sort of way, yeah. right? Like, you can see what's going to happen there. The medium Tatsu confirmation. It's very important. As a Kuma, you have to confirm medium Tatsu if they're crouching. Light Tatsu is standing. So, you know, it takes that extra little you know, kind of motivation. You gotta really be, keep your eyes open if you're Tokido. All right. Now Tokido going in on him, but nice counter poke right there from Filipino Champ. Goes with the whip jump medium punch into immediate low. Catches him with the slide into V trigger. You see that float trying to stay out of there. Keep that range for himself. He's got the lead. When you have the lead, the float's so important. It shuts down more angles of the screen than usual. Yep, you see that? He's got that medium punch. Horizontally covers the entire air. All right, just defense right now. Oh, he's going to activate it. Try to chase him down. He's going to get in. But so far, good defense from Filipino champ. And he teleports to the other side now. A lot of work for Tokido. Oh, oh good defense. Not, oh, he's going to be able to punish that, but he doesn't. He didn't make it in time. The air fireball and the trade works out. The champ with the round. Yeah, the back medium punch reaching high enough, just high enough to trade with the fireballs. Had he gone with the light punch instead, for example, he would have been in for a world of hurt. That float jab, an important tool for champ to utilize in this matchup. Slide under, but Tokido was ready with the jab. All right, tries to go in there. Filipino champ staying away, but you're gonna get Tokido's gonna use that V reversal to push him into the corner. What a jump, he knew it wasn't a true block string. Did you see Tokido dash back under to make sure that he kept Filipino champ in the corner? And Filipino champ's gonna be okay with taking that light punch out of the air. However, he's not gonna be okay with taking that, that frame trap from Tokido. Huge damage, plus eight on that EX fireball. Gains in pressure, that's why Filipino champ with the V reversal. Do not want to be under Dawson's fireball when it's dropping on your head. Oh no! Again, he read that whiff jump medium punch and he gets the throw on F champ. Yeah, so Filipino champ with a lot of resources. Does oh. survive to use them. He's gonna go into the last round though. Three bars, full critical R. That's gonna be a ton of damage against the Kuma if he lands it. Tokido finally getting that towards heavy punch to work against Filipino champ. Oh, that's going to be punishable, yeah. And back plus heavy punch is going to give him the knockdown combo into the demon flip. That's like a pop fly. He just swatted him out of the air. And now Tokido trying to put this pressure on Filipino champ, find, trying to find a way out of the corner right now. He just needs to find one opportunity, and no one is better at that than Filipino champ. There we go. There's one right there. You see, he got the combo and was able to teleport out of the corner. Yes, yeah, so scrambly champ running for his life here. He's in trouble. Tokido very close to V-Trigger, though. You know what that means. The Raging a Demon, trend. he's got to confirm. He could spend it. He's going to uppercut into Critical Art. No, oh. he saves it. Fake like the Demon set up, and he got the meaty because of it. Tokido is going to take it over Filipino Champ. Tokido is going to move on, and one of the three US players has been eliminated. F Champ taking it all the way to the last round. What a strong, strong player in Filipino Champ. But you can see how much respect he has for Tokido, a man who usually will, you know, talk a little trash to opponents who defeat him, but not in this case, because he knows the kind of competitor that Tokido is. Nothing 
but praise and respect for his opponent. And you know, that setup that Tokido did at the end really preyed on the knowledge of his opponent. It was one of those setups where he was threatening a Raging Demon. Mm -hmm. And to beat that, you have to jump. You got to hold up. So you saw that's what Champ did. Tokido instead stuck out the button, caught him jumping, got the kill. And that's the kind of like next level knowledge when you know your opponent knows. <laughs> you know, and that's only at the highest level that you right. can utilize stuff like that. And that's why it's so important to know this kind of stuff. Yeah. I think the best summary I'd ever heard was, you know, a good idea beats a bad idea in a fighting game. Right. Great idea beats a good idea. The best idea beats the great idea. And the worst idea beats the best idea. <laughs> you know, and the worst idea is to tune away during the ads that are going to be coming up here in the middle of this Evolution Top 8. More amazing matches coming up soon.